Nanny's chicken and rice. That's the recipe that we're going to be cooking up today at Honest Stave Living in the Kitchen. Thanks for tuning back in. I have my wonderful mother, Janie Smith, here with me today, and we are going to prepare Nanny's chicken and rice, another fan family favorite, and we're going to get started. So, Mom, I have this little recipe card here. I know that's that's the recipe, but you tell us what we're going to what we're going to okay. need. We need one and one third cups of uncooked white rice. One medium onion chopped, chopped, one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of celery soup, one can of water, a half a stick of butter melted, four to six chicken tenders or breasts, no skin, and you mix it all but the chicken together in a sprayed nine, nine by 13 pan, and then you place the uncooked rice on, on top with salt and pepper. The uncooked chicken. Put salt and pepper on top of that and then you pour your butter on the top all right so you know the ingredients that we need let's get cooking so we're going to first spray our dish i'm gonna let mom do that while i get out one and a third cups of all right so one and a third cups of uncooked rice and you're just going to put it in your in your dish because we're going to mix it all together so one and a third cup okay. then the chopped yep onion we're going to put this chopped onion in here. Again, we're going to mix it all together. Chicken all right. We're going to do the cream of chicken and the cream of celery. Okay. Super easy and quick dinner. You mix it all up in the pan. You're not dirty in as many dishes. Win-win for everybody. All right, then we need a can of water. I'll take this. Easy peasy. We're going to mix this together now. Just stir it all up in your pan. All right, guys, and once you get this done, we're just gonna place the chicken tenders on top. We will need some salt and pepper, so. All right, so now we're gonna put the chicken on the top, and these are just chicken tenders, and we're just gonna lay them, we're just gonna lay them on the top of the, the mixture. You can do this anyway. I didn't do it just perfect, but that doesn't matter. And mom, I'll let you salt and pepper that really good. And then there's just one final step after salt and peppering it. And that's to add your butter on the top. All right, so then the last step, do you wanna do the honors, mama? Sure. Just pour that right on top of it. So we're gonna bake this covered for one hour on 350 degrees. 